Hi, I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. Today we're going to get out of the city, and in New York you don't have to go far. In fact, there's an 843-acre oasis right in the middle of town waiting for you to discover. It's called Central Park. Central Park receives 25 million visitors a year. It's the most visited park in the United States, and its appearance in many movies and television shows has made it famous around the world. Central Park is bordered on the north by West 110th Street, on the south by West 59th Street, and on the west by 8th Avenue, which along the park's borders are known as Central Park North, Central Park South, and Central Park West, respectively. 5th Avenue retains its name along the eastern border of the park. It contains several lakes and ponds, extensive walking tracks, two ice skating rinks, one of which is a swimming pool in July and August, the Central Park Zoo, the Central Park Conservatory Garden, a wildlife sanctuary, a large area of natural woods, a reservoir with an encircling running track, 37 kids playgrounds, Delacorte Theater, and of course, the famous Central Park Carousel. So I think you get the idea. There's a lot to do here in Central Park. But don't get overwhelmed. We're going to break this up into a few series so you can watch them at your leisure. Today I'm going to take you to a few of my favorite places, starting with Bethesda Terrace. When the park was designed in the late 1850s, the designers knew they needed a special place here where people could come, hang out, see, be seen, and socialize. But Testa Terrace is that place. One of the most famous places in Central Park is a low boathouse. Located on the northeast corner of the lake, it's also home to the Boathouse Restaurant. And you can also rent a boat for some very romantic moments out on the lake. In the 1980s, the Central Park Zoo was a bit of a sad state. It had become dilapidated and had small cramped cages. It has since been renovated and today it's a thriving zoo with a lot to see. Just next door is a children's zoo. This is definitely a must see if you have kids. They've got goats, pigs, turtles, ducks, and even a cow named Othello. The best part, most of the animals can be touched and fed. Don't forget that a great way to experience New York is to rent a fully furnished apartment from New York Habitat. We've got apartments all around Central Park. It's a great alternative to the usual hotel and it'll save you money. You're probably familiar with the world famous ice skating rink here in Central Park. But one of the best kept secrets here in the summertime is that that skating rink turns into a little amusement park. You can bring kids up to four or five years old, they're going to have a great time. One of my favorite places in Central Park is right here in the southeast corner. It's called The Pond. You'll find little ducks, turtles, a little bit of live music even. It's a great place to come and relax. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our little tour of Central Park. Of course, we weren't able to cover all 843 acres of it, but we'll be making some more videos showing you some more things to do here. In the meantime, if we've missed any of your favorite places, make sure you leave them in the comments box below. If you're interested in renting a fully furnished apartment for your next trip to New York, make sure you visit our website at www.nyhabitat.com. You'll find a huge selection of vacation rental apartments to choose from. I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. Thanks for watching our video. We hope to see you soon in New York City.